all over the SEC top 10 in those categories. There <laughs> is another one, and they're not even moving. My goodness. <laughs> and there it is, folks. Hannah Gamble, looking like her old self, destroys her 11th long ball of the season, and Arkansas has the early lead. Whoa. <laughs> she got all of that one. The outfield didn't even move. Swing and a miss. How about that change? <laughs> I love the back-to-back, -to -back too. That was beautiful. No chance to stay off that one from Heron. See that grin? She knows she pulled one off. Playing in this game last week against Mississippi State, there were a lot as well. I'll have to talk more about that when we get a chance because Robin Heron just made very quick work of the Gamecocks in the second. Strike three called. Third K of the day for Robin Heron, and she's now retired. There's got to be some barrel awareness. I think they're getting under pitches a lot. Timing is going to be an issue, especially with that added that change up a lot more. But I think they're going to have to make an adjustment. Out toward right field, Keanu Jones won't be able to get there. So it's a base hit for Halverson. Fourth of the day for Arkansas. <laughs> Chew on that for a minute. But that's a base hit, and that will score at least one. Gamble hustling around. She's being sent by Courtney Diefel. Might be two. Those are some earned runs. Arkansas made it count, and with two outs, they cash in. It's Hogs 3-0. Two, swing and a miss. Lampede retired on three straight. That's the fifth K of the afternoon from Heron. One out in the sixth. Two, two pitch. Called strike three. Sixth strike out of the day for Robin Heron. And it sits down Jones and takes away that power. Meanwhile, Robin Heron going for complete game number seven and shutout number four of her sophomore campaign. And if this is brought in, she'll have it. And she does. Bree Ellis finishes it off with a P3. And Robin Heron has completely foiled the South Carolina Gamecocks this weekend, giving the Razorbacks the series win.